number of, uh, of principals, both uh, private school and public school, reach out to us, um, not only from in the local area, but actually from other states as well, uh, asking us what we're doing to be successful. Yeah, despite COVID, this private school stayed open all of the fall semester. The advice it has for public schools just now starting to reopen. In-person learning is just returning to many public schools across the metro. But the problem solvers have learned some private schools never even shut down at all. As we mentioned, investigative problem solver Rob Lowe visited Holy Family High School in Broomfield to learn just how it avoided outbreaks and really what the public schools might learn. Good morning, Holy Family Tigers! Most students at Broomfield's Holy Family haven't used a Zoom connection since last spring. Every morning since mid-August, kids at the private high school walk past a $25,000 thermal camera that takes their temperature and beeps if anyone is over 100.4 degrees. Especially as seniors, uh, my class was able to kind of set the precedent that, hey, this is a privilege to be here and, and we need to take it seriously. Student Michael White says he hated learning by Zoom when the pandemic first hit. He says kids were so happy to return, there's been positive peer pressure among the students not to party on weekends or be less safe off campus than they are on campus. Definitely, 100%, especially with the athletics and theater department and fine arts going on. Um, it was a big push because we missed out on those activities last year. The school has created one-way hallways based on health guidelines, suggesting people are less likely to absorb respiratory droplets from an infected person if they walk in the same direction. The school even installed this special air purification system thanks to a generous donor, very generous. It cost $100,000. Kids are spaced apart and some classrooms like science have dividers. Masks are given, but choir kids are assigned special mask designed for singing while minimizing the spread of air droplets. The lunchroom is a to-go menu, so kids generally eat outside or in the gymnasium spread apart. We looked at models that we'd seen over in Europe of schools being successful over there. Principal Matt Hopley says he's never seen kids so happy to be at school. He tells the problem solvers the number one reason for reopening in the fall was not because of academics, though obviously important, it was because of mental health. The workload of our guidance counselors who deal with our students' mental health issues just went through the roof this spring with kids dealing with uh, depression, anxiety, uh, loneliness, um, some suicidal ideation. All my coworkers talk about their high school students that are in public schools and they're, they're miserable. Parent Brenda Smolke says that was true of her daughter last year when Holy Family went remote. She says reopening this year was critical for her daughter, now a senior, as she considers life after graduation. And it's been really essential for her to have access to her college counselor. Um, not only the social emotional side of things, of being able to communicate with other adults that are there to support you and be able to figure out where you want to go to school. You can't do that from your bedroom. Smolke says parents, staff and students knew there was a risk in staying open, but she feels validated knowing there have been just six coronavirus cases among 700 students and 100 staff members, less than 1% of the school community became infected, and there's no evidence any of those cases were connected to each other, let alone the school. I would do anything to, you know, make sure these students get back into school. The few kids who did test positive and those identified as close contacts had to stay home for two weeks. But if the school building had been closed to everyone last semester, that would have been a different risk, both for how kids learn and how they maintain social connections. I saw the seniors last year and they struggled being online, but being in person, I still have that feeling that I'm connected with my classmates and I know that they missed out on that last year. Holy Family has some advantages not all public schools have, smaller classes and that $100,000 air purification system. Just last week, Broomfield Health began offering vaccines to staff age 70 and older, and they hope to finish vaccinating all of the staff by sometime in March. Rob Lowe, Fox 31. All right, uh, thanks to Rob there. Universities in Colorado making COVID plays.